If you want to use artificial intelligence with robotics, then have a look at this new model called as OpenVLA. OpenVLA is an open source vision language action model which you can easily use with robots by using Transformers library. Large policies pre-trained on a combination of internet scale vision language data and diverse robot demonstrations have the potential to change how we teach robots new skills. Rather than training new behaviors from scratch, we can fine tune such language actions model to obtain robust generalizable policies for visual motor control as you can see on your screen. If you look at this screen, what is happening here is that these are the videos of open VLA generalist policy demonstrating various robust behaviors. Videos are sped up by 1.5x by the way just for the um, sake of presentation but you can see that in a scene with many distractor objects open VLA is able to approach and manipulate the correct target object. Similarly in the second row they have assessed the policies language grounding by prompting it to manipulate different target objects given the same initial states and they have found out that open vla reliably targets the correct objects in most cases and at the very end you can see that the orientation of this open vla has aligned with the target object even before grasping it and that is the beauty of this project let's have a look at the architecture of this model from a couple of angles if you look at this screen, this tells you the whole holistic view of this OpenVLA and also how they have trained it. So they have trained OpenVLA by fine-tuning a pre-trained prismatic 7 billion VLM. Their model consists of three key elements. First, there is a fused visual encoder that consists of a SIGLIP and a Dino V2 backbone that maps the image input to a number of image patch embeddings. Secondly, a projector that takes output embeddings of the visual encoder and maps them into the input space of a LLM. And thirdly, a LAMA 2 7 billion language model backbone that predicts tokenized output actions. These tokens get decoded into continuous output actions that can be directly executed on the robot. To train OpenVLA, they have curated a data set of 970,000 robot manipulation trajectories from the OpenX embodiment dataset. Their dataset spans a wide range of tasks, scenes, and robot embodiments. And then they have trained OpenVLA on a cluster of 64 A100 GPUs for 15 days. The trained model checkpoints can be downloaded from Hugging Face, and I will also show you how you can install it if you have access to a robot. On the project page, they have also shared various benchmarks which you can check out at your layer. But if you want to have a quick look at the architecture more, you can see in this diagram which I mentioned the three stuff, especially look at this Llama to 7 billion language model, which is old. We are not talking about Llama 3, but still it is being used very heavily to predict tokenized output actions. And how good is that? that these open source models are being used in the wild, in the real world applications with the robots. Because in very simple words, I believe that the true magic of all of this generative AI will happen when we combine all of these software such as LLMs with hardware such as robot. Because the key weakness of learned policies for robotic manipulation is their inability to generalize beyond their training data. While existing policies trained for individual skills or language instructions have the capacity to extrapolate behaviors to new initial conditions such as object positions or lighting, they lack robustness to seen distractors or novel objects and struggle to execute unseen task instructions. Yet beyond robotics, existing large language models for vision and language such as CLIP, SIGLIP and LAMA2 are capable of these types of generalization and more stemming from the priors captured by their internet scale pre-training datasets. That is why this work has explored integrating pre-trained language and vision language models for robotic representation learning and as a component in modular system for task planning and execution. And I believe that this is the right step in the right direction. Also in this project page, they have shared a lot of um, 
benchmarking information which i will be showing you shortly and in that benchmarking information this open vla has outperformed the 55 billion parameter rt2x model the prior state of the art vla by 16.5 percent absolute success rate across 29 evaluation tasks on widow x and google robot embodiments now if you want to install it if you have access to a robot and you want to integrate this stuff with that all you need to do is to run these commands in order to get installed first up clone this github repo and you can find it from their uh, project page and i will drop the link to it in video description once you have it create a virtual environment such as conda or even python's virtual environment after cloning the repo cd to that repo and then simply run this command in order to install all the requirements and these are the minimum requirements i would highly suggest you also install uh, flash attention after you have installed it simply import it and import the image from the pillow library and then import the pytorch and this is where we are giving our 7 billion vision language model and we are simply downloading it from the hugging face by trusting the remote code from hugging face repo and this is where we are downloading it we are assigning it to vla and these are the usual suspects and this is where it says that if you are using flash attention to speed things up use flash attention package just do pip install flash attention and that is going to install it grab the image from the camera because of course your robot has a camera on it it is taking the pictures so you are grabbing the images from the camera and then you can give it a prompt as that in what action should the robot take to instruction whatever you have trained your robot for or whatever the task it is performing and then robot is going to predict the action with the help of vla and then this is where you are calling the robot so all in all you can see that how easy it is to run this model with the help of transformer and that sort of dumb hardware would have so much intelligence by using this llama model isn't that amazing now if i take you back to their project page you will see you can access that model from here and there are different models you can check there is a research paper you can read through really amazing research paper and look at the name um, names of the companies who have contributed to this research stanford uc berkeley toyota google DeepMind, mit physical intelligence i think all the awesome names are there and then look at the equal contribution of all of these researchers massive massive work these guys have done so very very impressed by the project i wish i had the access to the robot i would have shown you the live installation and video but i don't um but anyway i think we have done the second best as now we know more about this open vla if you are using it somehow please share your experience i would love to know more if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching